close-up view, you can see the parachute disconnected. There it is. For the first time since 2016, the little capsule from OSIRIS-REx is back on Earth. Lockheed Martin Safety is performing hazardous environment assessments. The charred 50-kilogram space pod arrived with cargo that is little more than dust and grit. But for scientists, it is 250 grams of wonder and knowledge. And liftoff of OSIRIS-REx. It was an outrageous mission to send a spacecraft to an asteroid millions of kilometers away. It took OSIRIS-REx two years to get to tiny Bennu and another two years to study the rocky surface to find a place to touch down. And when the moment came, a long arm plunged into the gravelly surface, gathered about half a pound of material and sealed it in the capsule. Sample collection is complete and the back away burn has executed. That's Two years after leaving Bennu and with a two billion kilometer journey home, success was always going to come down to the final few hours and minutes. OSIRIS-REx jettisoned the sample return capsule, fired thrusters to veer away from colliding with Earth, and the capsule then plunged into the atmosphere. At a precise angle, so as not to burn up, the tiny capsule finally floated by parachute into the Utah desert, the precious cargo intact. These samples that we've brought back, those are going to be a treasure for scientific analysis for years and years and years to come. Because the Earth remakes itself over eons, there are no original rocks here. The carbon samples from Bennu, pristine and four billion years old, could tell us about our own origins. These are all the building blocks for life. Maybe you can learn a little bit about, you know, how what was happening in the solar system at that time. How did our planet form? The Canadian Space Agency contributed laser navigation to OSIRIS-REx, and for that, the CSA will receive a few grams of Bennu dust to study. The first job is to ensure the Earth's environment doesn't pollute the asteroid dust. It's very challenging with some of our analyses to protect the sample, at, you know, at the level that we would store it long term. As for OSIRIS-REx, it missed hitting Earth and will now circle the sun for a few years before chasing down another asteroid that's expected to fly very close to Earth in 2029. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.